We make the world's fastest focusing lens. Specifically, we use the power of sound to shape light and create an optical lens. The sound waves go inside of a liquid, and then we take molecules and bring them closer together and further apart, which means that we're going to change the density of a liquid at a given point in time and space. That creates a lens. It's a parabolic lens that will continuously go from a flat wavefront to a converging one, back to a flat and to a diverging, and back to a flat. We do that one cycle every 70,000 times per second, all the way to over 500,000 times per second. We have several applications uh, that we're targeting. Uh, our first one is really in the industrial market size, part inspection, uh, metrology applications, and machine vision. Uh, those are really what we like to call the low hanging fruit, where you can simply put the tag lens in the setup and you're gonna maintain the telecentricity. You're gonna gain ultra high speed, as well as gain uh, information about the Z height of the different components you're looking at. Eventually, we're definitely hoping to go into more uh, consumer type application, call it uh, camcorders, handheld cameras, but that's way down the line. Uh, another application that we're looking into is uh, high power laser material processing. It was actually the subject of our phase one uh, from the uh, NSF, was to actually create a tag lens for high power laser material processing, which right now we have some of our customers testing it for gorilla glass cutting, for example. Over here, we have a very good example of an actual machine vision setup. So we have a camera, a lens, our tag lens, and then the lighting setup. We're running the camera at 90 frames per second, and we have three different images. Each image is actually entirely live, and all of them have 30 frames per second. Now, interestingly enough, what we're doing with our technology is we're actually changing the focal location of each frame. So the first frame is going to be focused on the first little Lego guy. Second frame is going to be in focus where my hand is. And the third frame is in focus where my foot is, all the way at the bottom. Now that means that in one setup, I can actually capture video from all three frames perfectly in focus. What's going on is that we're taking the native depth of field of the setup and we're actually moving it up and down so fast that we can actually, without any jitter whatsoever, move and have every frame perfectly in focus at a different location. And right now we're showing three, simply because we're limited by the camera. In a couple years, we'll be able to, instead of having a camera that does 100 frames per second, a camera that can do 1,000 frames per second. At which point, I could actually give you guys a full 400, 500 different frame locations, each perfectly live, simultaneously. Machine vision is really the whole idea of having a camera being able to see what we humans see and beyond. The NSF, I had the foresight to uh, really actually see the power of our technology. Phase one was geared towards developing the laser material processing side of the uh, technology, which was a great help. We had customers right away after the device was created. And now uh, the next big issue for us is, well, scale up manufacturing. Right now, we're basically a small startup. We're creating them, building all the lens ourselves in our basement of uh, our office. And the scale-up process is very important in order to actually take the technology to the next level. 